Hello everybody, welcome to another Python Mathematics and uh, Stock Indicators tutorial video. In this video we're going to be discussing shaken volatility. If you couldn't guess, shaken volatility is a measure of volatility. So uh, it's kind of like average true range. And in, in fact, I would probably prefer average true range over shaken volatility. Uh, as far as you know, a measure of volatility is concerned, because basically, um, or even Bollinger Bands, but um, the good thing about shaken volatility, but also average true range, is going to be that it, it spits out uh, just a single line, right? So you can throw that number into all sorts of other formulas, so it makes it very friendly to use elsewhere besides you know just that indicator. Uh, the calculation of shaken volatility is pretty simple, um, even though I have it broken down into three steps it's really just one step it's percent change of x you know from x periods ago of the EMA minus of high minus low uh, but to break it down first you're going to calculate high minus low then you're going to calculate the exponential moving average of that high minus low uh, and that exponential moving average will be whatever you choose typically uh, 10 and 10 is used so 10 EMA and then 10 from x periods ago it's just going to be like a 10 um, so anyway, step two, calculate the EMA of the high minus the low, done. And then step three is just calculate the percent change of that, you know, EMA, right? And it's kind of like a moving percent change. So it's not like a real percent change. It's more like a moving percent change from 10 periods ago or however many you want. But usually you're going to see a 10, 10. So let's go ahead and look at some examples uh, real quick. So here is our little charting application. If you want to know more about how we built this entire charting application, um, you can watch that uh, charting stocks and, and Python tutorial series. Um, but anyway, this is the uh, charting application here. <clears throat> we will be working on it and the like the actual code I'm just going to give to you guys and you can work on adding the formulas in here. Uh, so it'll just come with this little thing here blank. So anyways, this is the uh, shaken volatility for AT&T, or just T is its symbol. Um, so as you can see, you know, as it's getting really volatile, both here it goes up a little bit, and then it continues being very volatile, so it really rockets up here. So it's a little lagging, uh, but not much. Uh, then it shoots back up again, but then it starts kind of getting stable, and sure enough, it does kind of just kind of relax down here um, at this line. As you can see here, it's going to sort of oscillate around a zero line but not by very much but yeah you can get into the negatives but generally you're going to see it uh, in a positive movement here um, so anyway uh, and again here it's kind of volatile it comes up but it kind of relaxes and again you can kind of see the line just kind of chills out so it's just mostly I mean obviously shaking volatility it's purely just a measure of volatility it's there's no trending or anything like that in here you can usually also see that shaking volatility is going to somewhat uh, mimic the volume line so when volume really spikes you'll probably see shake and volatility spike but again I would say the uh, average true range is probably the better uh, measurement there anyway uh, so this is the uh, indicator that we're going to be covering in the next couple videos so if that sounds interesting to you guys you should uh, continue on in the next video in the next video we'll be calculating it within Python and then in the video after that we'll actually chart it up on this exact um, charting application here so, anyways, as always, thanks for watching.